We're here. I'm JR Mitch. This is Eric Everett, and we're going to talk about the 8X. All right, so we're here in the in my pit actually uh, with Eric Everett and his uh, 8X Nitro um, for this weekend. Ha haven't been able to get a an e buggy yet, but no. you got the Nitro, and when we have been uh, been getting the Deans, and uh, we ran in four, we ran the Force last Force series at Barto, and now we're here at Lake Park. Um, so tell us a little bit about you know the things that you've kind of went through with the car. And then we'll we'll finish on the center diff and uh, what you think between the two uh, diff cases. Yeah, and if, if you've never raced in Florida, the tracks are kind of tricky because in the morning it's really wet and slick, so you kind of have to find a setup for that. And then by the afternoon when it really grooves up, it can get super high bite, so you kind of got to hang around and then kind of make a couple adjustments so you have something to run for for the afternoon. And I think we got a pretty good setup going that I can drive I'm not the best driver but we got a pretty good setup that I can get around the track pretty good with it so I'm pretty happy going into uh, tomorrow's qualifying yeah we have the, actually what we have a video of you going around the track that's the track um, is a reconfiguration of the previous layout that was here yeah um, and this layout is much much faster higher speeds yeah yeah uh, and jumping into corners and uh, it's it's still kind of tight i would say not as open as you would be at like a you know uh california arizona where it, you, you, your car can be free a little bit more this is kind of compact they use a lot of the area of the track um to get the most lap time out of it as as they can um so it's kind of tent scale ish i would yeah. say um but it's still friendly. going yes yeah, it's, it's still going pretty fast like for me i would say e-buggy still uh, my favorite class out of all of it because it's kind of still like a 10 scale track. Yeah. So it's it, it's acting a little bit more 10 scale friendly with an e buggy where nitro, it, it, everything's kind of winding up and then it slows down, wind up and then it slows yeah. back down. So it's a little different. But um, we'll talk a little bit about the diff case. Uh, I'll have the part number for you guys out there. A lot of guys have been running it um, in the center diffs. Um, it's a low C uh, diff case and it has. Um, the sun gears, the mini sun gears that are on it, uh, instead of riding directly on the sides of the case, that there's a steel sleeve that goes in the case, and then those uh, mini sun gears ride on that uh, steel um, insert, and and that diff, this diff, holds a little bit extra oil, not by much, but a little bit, compared to the the, the standard diff case that comes with the car. So Eric, you've run both. You've run yeah. the, the standard one and you've run the the low C one, which I like. I said I'll put the part number up there for everybody. Uh, what's your take on on, on both uh, diff cases? I think with the uh, with the higher volume diff case, you can run a little bit lower oil, and so you gain the the advantage of having a little bit better traction. Mm -hmm. But the car doesn't like want to rotate super hard. Like if you were running <laughs> three thousand. Like we're running 3,000 in the high volume now. If you right. ran it in the regular stock diff, the car would want to rotate really hard. Yeah, it's probably acting more like a 5,000, say. Yeah. Okay. So this kind of lets you lets gives you the advantage of a little more grip with the lighter oil, so you can drive it easier. Right. But it, it just reacts nice and. Even. And and 3,000 sounds crazy and like yeah. for for me I've never really ran 3,000 in the center diff, but I hear lately have been running it both on this higher grip uh, situation that we have here and when the track's gonna be lower grip in the morning. And for me, I'm more consistent, I feel more consistent yeah. with 3,000 than with five or even seven. Yeah. Um, it's, it, to me, it's way more forgiving. I can get on the power, the car pulls out of the corner better, steers on power better yeah. um, than, than say 5,000 does. E-buggy, I have 4,000 in my e-buggy, which is a little bit up because it is e-buggy, but um, 
I, I think it's better. It, it seems to be I, I'm just as competitive lap times um, with it that way than I am the other way, and I'm, I seem to be more consistent yeah, also. It so it stays consistent, more consistent throughout the whole run. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to talk to Eric a little bit more about uh, tire situation. Um, where, if you guys, have, I've been racing at this track since I was five. I have a picture of me standing by this uh, oak tree over here, and I was probably about you know yay big. Uh, with my monster beetle but and the dirt has been added on here and there but for the most part it's still a Florida track um, even though the clays may be a little different than other plays it, it I think it still plays into a Florida style of track yeah. where you have a you have a really moist condition in the morning then it gets to like kind of loose condition where you're kind of trying to find grip and then all of a sudden the light switch kicks on and then you're you know you're on R2 tires, yeah. so um, tell us a little about what what you found, like say today, this morning, then what you went to, like uh, you know after we came back from lunch, and then uh, what you found at the end of the day. Yeah, in the morning I, I was I found that the uh, Cosmos in the green compound mm -hmm. were really good uh, in the damp damp track, and then as it got a little bit dusty, uh, I moved to the the Reflex uh, in the blue compound, and then. As it got later in the day here, I ended up going with the Stalkers, and uh, they they seem I, I like the way they drive. They're a little they're not quite as aggressive as mm -hmm. a reflex tire, but I, I like the way they drive. It's nice and mellow. Yeah, because the grip's getting pretty gnarly. So yeah, for sure, it seems to be that the Cosmo tire in the morning for here seems to be like the go-to tire. Yeah, I would say for sure. Um, and then it kind of maybe goes to like a smaller pin, like a reflex, and then it. It maybe goes back to, you know, it, it sounds like it's crazy, but it, it's the situation we've lived in in Florida all of our lives. Uh, it, tires are what makes a race car um, nine times out of ten here in Florida. If you don't, even if you have the yeah. wrong compound, I would say if you ran a, a green compound when you should be running a blue or a blue when you should have been running an R2, it makes seconds worth of difference yeah, on the track. Definitely. Okay, well, you want to holler out to your, your sponsors. Your, your, if anybody knows, Eric Everett is Easy Customs. He, uh, he is the ultimate potty, body painter. He paints my bodies and paints a whole bunch of other bodies, Jackson Brunson, everybody else's bodies out there. Uh, you want to give a shout-out to your sponsors? Yeah, I want to thank uh, TLR, Horizon, Spectrum, J Concepts, Team Trinity, Orion, and, of course, Easy Customs, Stick It One. Um, they just, they, I couldn't do any of this without everybody and without all the support of my paint paint customers. I just can't thank everybody enough for that. Cool, and, and you're, you're a, a diehard uh, TLR guy here in Florida and I appreciate that. And uh, actually Derek Jacobs, I was trying, gonna try to get a hold of him to do a little interview, but unfortunately he had, he had to leave a little early today. So maybe we'll catch up with him tomorrow and we'll, we'll do another video. But uh, I appreciate your time, Eric, yeah, and uh, good you. luck tomorrow. All right, thank you.